Good afternoon. Good. That's a very bright response. <laughs> Dr. Pandurang Shetty, Chairman, RV Group of Institutions, I am proud to address you as the immediate past president of uh, FKCCI. I also recognize the presence of uh, Mr. K.M. Sinwas Murthy, another past president. <laughs> Mr. John Rudd, Consul General of Germany. Mr. Prakash Kotari, Chairman, IFBR Group of Institutions. Sri Manish Kotari, Managing Director, IFBR. I know him for quite a long time. Srimati Tejeshwini, no, she just left, okay. Srimati D.A. Tejeshwari, Director, Adi Keshavali Group of Companies. Dr. C. Manoha, Dean ISBR. Dr. K. S. Anandaraman. Sri Kiran Bindu. Dr. Chandra, Chandra Niranjan. Sri Mayur Jain. Faculty members, students, ladies and gentlemen. I was telling Mr. Anand Kumar that Modi team has presented an excellent budget. It's in fact uh, touching all the minds, all sectors of uh, the society. And it is a growth oriented budget. Ache din aane wale hai. Let us be, let us look forward to good things to happen. I'm happy to have been invited by the ISBR as a guest of honor to address the students at the convocation. For students who are going to graduate from ISBR, many of whom may have become corporate, may become corporate leaders by tomorrow. Management in business and organizations is a function that coordinates the efforts of the people to accomplish the goals and objectives using available resources efficiently and effectively. Management is at once an art and a science. India has become a land of opportunities in the last two decades. Many prestigious Indian institutions in a variety of fields are producing management graduates who are not only excelling, but also competing globally. The present economic outlook discloses that most of the regions, particularly in Asia, are rearranging corporate priorities including shift from manufacturing to fast-growing service sector. Actually, we should reverse this in India. We must lay emphasis on manufacturing sector. That's what Mr. Anand Kumar also was mentioning. There's a renewed focus on the role of government, government-linked corporations, which have grown rapidly, particularly in emerging economies. There's a scarcity of senior level talents, even in multinational firms. Emerging companies are transforming gradually from a low cost destination to quality intensive ones. The creed differentiator is business across industries today is quality of human resources. That's where you come to play a role. You have seen when fat cat investment banks were needed to be bailed out by, by taxpayers in US because they were too big to fail and bring down the entire economy. Greed and total dis disregard to values 
brought down economies. A crooked manager, misinformed, yet ambitious CEO, is a major risk investor, considering how he can derail an otherwise good business. There are other factors which have to be studied, that is, the external ones such as taxes, inflation, and their effect on business. The discretionary powers should be used for public good. The present crisis is the belief that greed is good. This art of free market ideology is certainly wrong. There's a fine dividing line between undesirable expectations and thoroughly desirable ambitions, confidence, intellect that an MBA is supposed to inculcate. Professor John Galbraith, the erstwhile economist, said, India is a functioning anarchy, but Dr. Palkiwala, eminent jurist, observed that Indian civilization has a gift of perpetual youth and our culture is, an, is as relevant today as it was before Christ was born. What is required is to revisit that culture. Life is an opportunity. It gives us freedom to act as we want. If we fail to avail because of neglect or misuse or greed, we shall have no justification for complaining later and the consequences have to be faced. We are on a journey of hope that future will be brighter. Money is only the means to a good end, not an end in itself. You students who have now turned in turns, I am told, uh, Monoji, you said uh, all of them are employed already? Yes. Yeah, they are pleased. Yeah. I have a great responsibility to the organization which has employed you and a responsibility to yourself. Your employer believes that you will understand your role and are you are self-motivated. And you contribute to the success and growth of the organization as a team player. Never belie this trust. <coughs> and if you think that you are a misfit for the role, look for a change inside first. But if the value system is not of the high order, I repeat, if the value system of the company is not of the high order, look out for a change immediately. With these few words, I wish the students all the best in their future endeavors. Thank you, one and all.